Hey guys, today's makeup tutorial is going to be a very glowy one. I have this fresh makeup look, the skin being the main focus. This video is also in partnership with Moda Brushes, so I just want to say thank you to them for teaming up with me to create this video. So let's go ahead and hop right on in. Starting off with the skin today, I'm going in with Glam Glow Glow Starter. This is an illuminating moisturizer in the shade Nude Glow. It's a beautiful illuminating moisturizer, you guys. And it's also gonna act as our primer today since it does give a little bit of a tacky feel to it. But it's going to lay underneath our makeup looking super glowy. And because it's the glowy look, I thought it would be perfect to do so. So I'm gonna put it all over my face as well as my neck and decolletage area. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, healthy glow. For foundation today, I'm mixing two of my favorites, the NARS Natural Radiance and CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. And we're also going to be using a bunch of these brushes from Moda Brushes. This actually is my favorite kit right here. This is the six-piece prismatic set. Such a good variety of eyes and face brushes. And you guys have probably seen me use those oval brushes a lot of times here on my channel. I've been using these brushes for over a year and I just absolutely love them. I use this large foundation brush to go ahead and apply the foundation all over my face. I absolutely love the way that this just glides on the skin is so soft and makes your skin look so flawless like an airbrush finish to the makeup application it's just incredible and I truly believe that having the right tools to do the makeup application is just as important as the actual makeup that you are using so yeah girl you need to get yourself these brushes <laughs> So I'm just gonna continuously blend out this foundation all over my face as well as down to my neck and a little bit by my ears since my hair is up <laughs> I will also be sure to leave a link where you guys can go ahead and check out these Moda brushes in the description box below. For concealer, today I'm going with the new Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This one's in the shade Natural Beige. I'm gonna go ahead and put it underneath my eyes, a little bit on my chin, forehead, and down my nose. Going with the shade Coco, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, down the sides of my nose to go ahead and contour it all up. I've absolutely been loving this product to conceal as well as sculpt out the face. I think it is amazing. There's literally no creasing and I'm just so pleased with it. Taking the Moda Magic Sponge, I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my concealer under my eyes as well as my forehead and chin and a little bit underneath that contour area and I absolutely love this. Taking the smaller face perfecting brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right into my contour area, which is perfect for blending out the contour. And right about now, you'll see me blending it out and it does look a little bit crazy with the color. So then I do go back in with that magic sponge and kind of blend with both and it just completely makes it melt into the skin. Absolutely love it, so I just kind of go around with both. And when you blend the contour out, you wanna make sure you're blending the color upwards so we have a chiseled look. Then to go ahead and do a little quick nose contour, I'm taking that crease brush that was actually in the kit that I showed earlier and just gonna go ahead and run that down the sides of my nose to blend out the cream contour. Taking my Holy Grail setting powder, which is the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm gonna go ahead and put this right underneath my eyes to go ahead and set the under eyes as well as my forehead, chin, and a little bit underneath my contour area. Then I'm gonna go ahead and dust away the excess powder using this brush right here. This is their mythical brush. I'm gonna go ahead and dust it away. How pretty are these brushes too? Like, hello. They're just so gorgeous. Everywhere from the color to the texture on the handles. <sighs> so pretty. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin using the MAC Patrick Star Powder in the shade Give Me Life. I love this, you guys. It just gives a healthy glow to your skin and makes you look pretty like alive and radiant. I just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over my cheeks, my contour areas, as well as my temple, and just really bronze up my skin. Taking Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, I'm taking the color Georgia, which is a nice muted peach, almost nude color on this crease brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it from my inner to outer corner of my crease, but mainly just swishing it on my entire lid because we're not gonna be adding any colors today. I just wanna add a light wash of color on here to kind of set down my lid and just get everything to look super seamless and 
kind of flawless looking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that down pretty much as well as just adding a little bit of color. Taking a nude liner, I'm gonna go ahead and run that on my inner waterline. This one is from L'Oreal. Just to kind of create more of an eye-opening look, super bright. For lashes, I wanted to keep it kind of simple, but still kind of glam. So I'm taking the Lily Lashes in the style Hollywood. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on with some Kiss Lash Glue. And then I'm also gonna go in with the Amrezi Highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Small Moda Brush, which fits perfectly into the inner corners. I'm gonna go ahead and put some highlighter in there to brighten things up, as well as my nose. But we will get back to highlighting in just a little bit, because you guys know how that goes. I like it that and then for lashes to blend the false ones with mine I'm taking the covergirl total tease mascara and I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the roots and a tiny bit onto the hairs and then I'm gonna do it on my lower lashes as well go ahead and start glowing up the skin today I'm taking the physicians formula butter highlighter in the color champagne it is such a gorgeous highlighter I've seriously been so obsessed I'm taking this smaller brush to go ahead and do a little bit more into the inner corners just to emphasize it as well as on my brow bone and you guys this highlighter is seriously like the softest smoothest highlighter I've ever just used. Obviously so buttery, hence the name, but it just glides on the skin and gives you such a healthy, radiant look. Then I'm going in with this Moda fan brush that came in my favorite kit as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right into my cheekbones and really get the cheekbones to glow. And this brush just literally glides on to the cheekbones. So amazing, puts the product on like phenomenal, I'm obsessed. So can do we see that? Do we see that glow? <laughs> I'm gonna also put it down onto my collarbones and my shoulders because I'm wearing an off the shoulder top and I absolutely love to glow there. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep on going to my desired look. So to go ahead and intensify the highlight just a little bit more, I'm taking the Too Faced Hangover Setting Mist on this Moda Mythical brush. This is actually a crease brush, but it does the job. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Persona Cali Glow Highlighters in the shade Zuma. And then I will go back in with that fan brush to go ahead and disperse the product around a little bit more and just do some finishing touches. I absolutely love combining highlighters. I'm just extra like that. You definitely don't have to. It's all personal preference, but both of these highlighters work amazing together. It seriously glides on like butter and just gives you that intense, intense glow, but you also can tone it down, which I absolutely love. And I literally put it everywhere. Just douse myself in my highlighter. <laughs> my lips today, I'm going in with MAC Strip Down Liner, and we'll go ahead and line up my lips, as well as filling them on in. For a full, glossy, glowy look to the lips, I'm taking the NARS Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer in the color At First Sight. It is a beautiful white with like metallic little flecks in it. It is so gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right to the center of my lips and really blot down. And this makes your lips look pretty big, like pretty plump, but it also has pretty like flecks in it where it's glowing and shimmery. And I think it just completes the look. So I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face up with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that is it. That is my look. That is such a simple, glowy look. It's ultra glowy, very appropriate for summertime, and I just absolutely been loving this look. I have been rocking it a ton, and it's just my easy, everyday kind of glowy makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found today a little helpful. Don't forget to check down below to see all the products I use in today's video, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.